knife versus gun. This is something you hear about quite a bit. You always hear about in, in the concealed carry world. He had a knife, so I had to fire. But my question is, what will a knife actually do in a ballistic test versus a gun? And today I'm gonna to use a, a snub nose revolver. I'm gonna use 38 special ammo and I'm gonna compare it to this cold steel outdoorsman light, which has a six inch blade, it's full tang. So I'm gonna do some ballistic testing between the two of these. Also some other practical accuracy stuff I'm gonna do. Now one of the points to the knife thing is the Dennis Tuller rule, which says that an average healthy adult male can can cover seven yards in 1.5 seconds and make a deadly wound. Um, I'm gonna try to put that to the test the best I can. I'm not gonna be running um, seven yards or anything like that, but I am gonna try to simulate the distance it would take to draw a firearm and fire before somebody could um, inflict a deadly strike. I'm also gonna do some anatomy target and my ballistic test let me show you what i'm going to do for that all right so for my ballistic test i'm going to change the position of where this is when i fire at it with the gun but for the knife i'm actually going to put it up against a tree because this will give me a nice steady balance here so what i got here is i got a layer of t-shirt here and be below that i have a layer of genuine leather so that's going to simulate our skin and then i have you know, about two inches of 10 percent clear ballistics and inside of this i have some medium density fiberboard and you probably can't see it from this angle but there's slots in it that are going to represent slots and ribs and they're about you know maybe three quarters of an inch wide so i'm going to see what happens when that knife actually hits if it actually goes through all this if it hits that medium density fiberboard to simulate a rib or what it will be like after it goes through the slots in the metal and see what that would look like and see how much penetration we can get in the six inch block so let's get started with the test all right i have the knife six inch blade and i'm wearing gloves obviously for a test like this because i don't want this knife to slip i'll probably just put my thumb behind here like this to prevent the knife from slipping and i'm going to try to go through this leather and shirt and ballistics gel and try to get through the ribs so i'm not trained in knives so I'm just an average guy here, so let's see what I can do. All right, and I immediately went through that slot in the fiberboard. Nice actually made it through it. It looks like it chipped it a little bit and we went through, um, well, you know, we got about four inches in that and that's not even really trying all that hard. You know, I can't even imagine being angry and coming at somebody with a full weight. So even just a few steps forward. <sighs> You know, I got about a half inch more, and again, I went through that, I went through that um, rib slot. So what if it hit a little bit lower and actually hit what would be simulated sternum? Let's try that. And I went on the other side of the ribs again, but we can see here, that's pretty devastating. I'm not getting through this entire block. And it's gonna be hard to quantify this number because clear ballistics is roughly, you know, not exactly the same as human tissue. Let me try one more time to get on that ribs. that time I hit it and it doesn't look like it went through it and that stopped it but that's pretty nasty <laughs> now what I want to do is I want to slice at it and see what kind of what a slice might do and I'm gonna pull this away here because this would end you know if somebody's gonna slice they want to go through for like a neck and see what would happen you know a good slice so Oh, 
oh, oh, oh man yeah i would not want that to happen to me that sliced in there really deep that is nasty so i can definitely say just from everything i'm looking at here that this is absolutely deadly and this is not something i'd want to get hit with so judging from this um thinking your clothing is going to slow it down or something like that no <laughs> So if somebody had a knife like this, you definitely would be justified in shooting uh, when you're looking at this. Let's see how the gun compares. So again, for this test, I'm gonna wear some gloves because this can get kind of dangerous. And what I have is I have five rounds of Critical Defense Standard Pressure 38 Special, 110 grain. So that will give us just an average idea of what will happen. I'm not gonna do a contact shot right away, um, but I'll try to just go through our ribs and sternum from Maybe a good foot away, and we'll see what happens. <laughs> a lot of powder burn, and as expected, we're going to go through that because that's like, um, it's only six inches. But what would happen if we did this? And that is weird because that transfers that energy back into my hands and I feel like a thud on my chest from that hitting. But we see here, um, it just shredded a whole, bigger hole through that. It put a burn hole in this. It just blew a hole right through this. So I'm gonna take this apart here and get a look at this ribs or sternum stuff here. You know, and even here, it's still burning as it hits this um, rib simulation. And this is where I was going through with the knife. And I hit up here with the knife and actually I didn't go through. Let me put this back in here. Seeing as I have three more rounds, let's just put this back in. And I'm not gonna do another contact shot, but you know, I got three more rounds of this critical defense, so you have multiple shots. Well, the knife is almost like unlimited ammo, but still, three more shots here. Yeah, I can't even imagine um, getting hit like that. So I want to do a little bit of an accuracy uh, a drill now. Um, and I'm going to put up an anatomically correct target. And I'm going to go back from a certain distance, which will simulate kind of like somebody running at me with that knife. So let's do that. So this next test is going to be really challenging for me because I'm pocket carrying the 605, which has a hammer spur, which will snag on my pants as I pull it out. I have some Winchester. Um, 130 grain target ammo so 1.5 seconds is the average time that it would take for an average male healthy adult male to cover the distance of seven yards so what that means is i'm at about four yards so what that's going to say is at four yards i'm going to say that i saw i had a half a second and now I have one second, if I'm doing my math right, one second to, to pull up and fire. So in that one second, that target should be about here, about four yards away. So let's just say I saw it happening instantly. Can I get this out within one second? And that should be the distance away from that four yards, roughly. So I don't have a shot timer to say whether it's going to be a second or not but let's say i have my hand in my pocket let's see what happens so i think there's going to be a lot going on here a lot of variables 
if I have my hand in my pocket, I think I could do it, snag a little bit. You know, two-handed shooting, forget about it, because that's not going to happen at that distance unless you are carrying in such a way that you can draw it like that. For me in my pocket carry, it's not going to happen. So that was just one shot. So I'm carefully putting this gun back in my pocket. So I'm going to do a double tap now, four yards. See, I'm already snagging. I think I might have been dead right there. Or at least I would have had to evade in some way. That one shot was way far over. Let me try for some headshots. I think my normal daily carry would do a little bit better because I carry the LCR that has the uh, doesn't have the hammer spur. But this gives me a little challenge here. So headshot, I guess. I think I shot way, way high and way, way right. So, you know, I'm not getting any sight picture. And in order to get sight picture, that target be a little bit closer, which I suppose would be easier at that point, but. So I'm just gonna keep it right here instead of pulling it out. You can't hit a center, a center hit with, unless I aim which I totally missed. <laughs> so definitely very hard to do. Um, so definitely a challenge. Definitely a challenge to defend against something like that. Uh, personally, if it were me though, and I saw something like that, I'd probably be gun up and wind it, telling them to stop, and they'd probably be a lot closer before I actually fired. So let's look at what that would look like. So here I am, I'm like, six feet which is really close but if i actually had to fire and i was that scared i would know that they were pretty much right on top of me with a knife and six feet from the camera it's gonna look like this yeah at that point i'm not gonna have any hesitation so it would be like stop stop put it down and i was snagging right there but let's just say I, I did a perfect draw and i'm like stop and like what would look like from here, it would be like this. And that's a lot of rounds. So I think, you know, even if they kept fighting, I think if you step back, they're not going to be able to really continue doing uh, uh, what they were doing with as much skill as what they were doing. So just for fun's sake, I want to throw the knife from seven yards and see what happens. So I am by no means an expert at this type of thing, and I know there's different types of throws, but let's just say an average person decided to throw this, and I got a piece of pine that's about two foot by about 10 inches. Could they hit that, and what would the knife do? I missed. Like I said, you know, average person, I, I, highly trained people probably have better stuff to do than throw knives at people, but. You can hit that. When I was a kid, I used to do a lot of knife throwing, but not, you know, not with any real training. I'll try it from this way like I did when I was a kid. Oh. That's a jugular hit. That's, <laughs> that's not good. I didn't hit my target, but that's not good either. Actually, from the anatomically correct target, it shows the mouth which that would not be good, but uh, I guess I'm going to keep throwing from this way. Oh, that stuck in far. You know, it stuck in pretty far, further than what it is here. Um, probably a good three quarters of an inch, which if that were to hit, yeah. So that's what you get today as a knife. How much damage can it really do? And obviously it's lethal, uh, but kind of easier to be more lethal than what I would have thought thought it to be. So, oh yeah, you might want to shoot to defend yourself against somebody with a knife, especially if it's this big. So that's what you get today. So as always, comment, share, and like, and thanks for watching. <laughs>